Hi friends, Happy New Year. At this point of time, most of us want to, to have some resolutions for the new year. Isn't it 2023 what I'm going to do? So probably you are going to have a resolution for journaling, right? Most of us want to do the journaling. I've been doing journaling for a long time. Of course, bullet journaling is the, the most favorite method which I'm having. Uh, I used to have, religiously have this kind of bullet journaling. For example, uh, you know, this sort of uh, journals which I have been using for a really long time. These are really beautiful uh, journals, you know. So these are based, uh, made by My Paper Clip. You know, it's an Indian based company. I'm from India, by the way. My name is Felix. And uh, this something like this is uh, quite popular. More skin in the US is the, the uber popular notebook, but it's super expensive here in India. So My Paper Clip is pretty good one. So by the problem which I, I found in with this method is that asymmetric expansion the the right idea is that if i have like a schedule so i'll be having the schedule in the sense that bullet journaling usually works with the day and what i want to do on the day and also the rapid logging everything together in the same thing right and then i i would really want to have some sections for for example recipes you know so i want to have one section only for recipes another section only for a special talk or article uh, outline which I'm having in my mind. I want to have that section and the another section for today I learned. What did I learn for the day? So multiple sections will be there. It's going to be really complicated. So I would end up having a bigger notebook. So you know I am also a big fan of one back traveling. Super lightweight traveling. So this is not a good system for me. So right now the system which I'm having I would like to show you is this system. So this everything is there inside the system. What is this? So basically this one is a waterproof pouch so that I can put it in my purse or my bag. I mean, you know, it's completely waterproof and inside this waterproof pouch. So basically this one weighs just 40 grams, friends, and this one weighs 115 grams, right? This is much more lightweight as well. So what is inside this? So it is something like index card. You might know about the index card, right? So I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you one by one. So the first one is basically my schedule index card, right? And this card, each phase will have two days, like 26 is Monday, 27 is Tuesday, like that, right? Tomorrow is 26, right? And then another two days, then weekends I usually have two days together in one half of one card, right? So I spend every uh, Sundays on, uh, you know, weekly scheduling. Right? So weekly planning. So I look at various things. For example, recurring task I feed into the Google Calendar. I find it's much more easy to do that way. For example, fortnightly tasks like cleaning the fridge, you know, or sometimes it just happens like birthdays, right? Any kind of recurring task is so much better to schedule into the Google Calendar. Trust the system, you know. And then I look at that while feeding into it. And every day before sleeping, I have a glance on tomorrow's schedule, what my day is going to be. And every morning, I also look at the day, today, what is going to be like. So it's really convenient way of bullet journaling. The second index card system here is that this is something I call it as TIL, again, inspiration from the Reddit. Okay, so TIL is uh, today I learned. So whatever things that you learn, for example, today is the latest entry is that uh, air leak detection by lit candle methodology, like this lit candle, you can detect the air can, you know, the air leaks. So whatever I learn every single day, or including the new birds which I learn, I log into this system, you know. So this is called TIL uh, thing. And uh, and the third one is called to-do list. So it is like a, uh, you know, massive to-do. Everything, whatever I want to actually do that, I put into it. So I also look into this to-do list. And whichever I haven't finished, I log into my schedule on every Sunday. Uh, while I, you know, that is like a promise to myself that I will do this task on this day. At least, you know, I don't actually schedule the time. At least a day, right? So this is my system. And also, I also have, I always carry this kind of, uh, you know, colored uh, loose sheets. So these loose sheets are for rapid logging. For instance, if I get a, uh, a you know, a, a telephone call, and whatever the number or whatever the information I quickly want to jot down, I simply pick up one of the sheet and then I log it. So also some of these empty cards. So empty cards is for like if I have an idea for an article or a public speech, so I can actually develop into one 
free card. So these are the system. I also have uh, this one, uh, you know, one page center calendar. So it's basically two page, uh, you know, 2023 calendar. This is by the calendar page. I find it really helpful. The whole year I can actually see that uh, on the go. So this is my system, uh, you know, in a nutshell. So as you can see that I have this archive, this, uh, you know, the schedule. Uh, you know, I carry only three weeks. So two weeks ahead and two weeks later, so excluding the current week. So during every weekends, when I do this weekly review, I remove these cards and I actually put into this, you know, this box of my year-wise archival. So this is my entire year of 2022. It's now getting over, right? Now I'm going to start my 2023. I will have another archive. So that's it. So this one is basically that this card which I'm using is called Turon. Pretty good card. It's, it's from India. You know, so it's an Indian company, Turon. I don't know what, what is the, I mean, any card will work for you. It, whatever be there in your, uh, you know, in your country. Uh, before ending, I also want to show you that this is my, uh, remember I told you about the thematic cards, right? Uh, for instance, uh, you know, these are the thematic cards. These are all the books which I read. Right? Every single book which I read, for example, this is a book called something called The Psychology of Money, very beautiful book. And uh, you can see that the kind of writing I'm having. I'll, let me bring that close to you. I hope you can see this. It's really small, extremely small. So this is the beauty of this index card system. And how do I achieve it? So that is the secret lies in the kind of pen which I'm using. And this pen is, you know, it's called Sakura Pigma. It is, uh, uh, you know, uh, archival grade quality. Even if uh, the water comes in, nothing is going to happen. It's a, it's a Japanese, uh, you know, uh, firm. And uh, what I'm using is 01, Pigma 01, Sakura Pigma 01. So 01 is basically 0.25 millimeter. See, one mm, that is tenth of a centimeter. So 0.25 means one fourth of one small m and that is the thickness of the line that it produces so i highly recommend that the reason why i really like this system is that you know i don't really need a lot of cards which simply add on to the weight so everything is uh, you know on the go you see so one card whatever the stuff which i brought in this card is equivalent to maybe around the 10 normal sheets of paper if you're using a, a thicker you know gel pen so why you want to actually carry all these stuff and even retrieval of this information itself is very tricky so instead of that you know i think this system works very well okay so and uh, you know in my comment in the uh, in uh, uh, reddit right when i posted about this thing bujo and notebooks and all so one of the uh, uh, you know one of the reddit user trick 2497 uh, said about hipster pd Correct. This is something like hipster PDA. The big difference between my system and hipster PDA is that, you know, I have thematic section. For example, TIL and uh, 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 another one is for rapid locking. It's completely free and to do and then schedule. These are completely different system. Okay. And I also use this kind of ringer, you know, not the bind, you know, binder clip. Uh, why I, I prefer this ringer is that it, I can easily turn the pages. You see, so it's not easy with the binder clip. So hipster PDA works with a binder clip system. So if it works for you, go ahead, try the hipster PDA. But this method is now tried and tested, and I will definitely I will uh, uh, I would like to continue that for 2023. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video and if you like to have uh, further tips and tricks for hacking your life and increasing your productivity and also bringing science into your daily life, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.